about six years old. Holds territory to the east of Cheetah Plains and also into Kruger National Park. Oh, he's got very lucky, as I said here, and you can see he's a spectacularly beautiful specimen. And it's so incredible that we are live right next to him. Remember, hashtag Safari Live for questions. Look at that, you can see that beautiful paw. It's trying to bite a fly. A good snooze in the shade. So what will happen is, while there is meat available, he will eat as much as he possibly can, and he will eat, digest, and then go eat some more. So I'm hoping he does go back towards that carcass at some point while we're here. But he's lying quite close to it, as you can see. Now, there's a very good reason for that. And it is, of course, the white-backed vultures that are all around us. There we go, white-backed vulture. Now, they're waiting for him to have a lapse in concentration. Even if they fly down for a few seconds, try to gulp as much meat as possible. Now, Debbie, hi Debbie. Debbie's in Vancouver, Canada. Debbie would like to know if quarantine, another young male leopard showed up, would they share? Oh, he's turned his back to us now. Now, Debbie, I think it's very, very unlikely they are competing for territory, even though quarantine's a bit younger. But I think... Oh, excuse me. I think he would probably chase quarantine off, or there might be a bit of a scuffle. Now, he keeps moving slightly because his belly is so full, he's uncomfortable. So he has to keep moving just to try to keep comfy with that very big belly. Now he's an exquisite male leopard in his prime. And like most predators out in Africa, no one says no to a free meal. Now that's why drought is a time of plenty for predators, but we are going to go into a quick little ad break. Stay tuned. We'll be back with this male leopard shortly. <laughs> 